all the bees over there coming in for a drink. You know, a water feature is super important in the garden. You can do a very small scale little water feature as well. Just use a, a little tub of some sort, buried in the ground, surround it with rocks. Get a little pond pump in there. It costs $20 just to keep the water flowing and oxygenate the water so that you don't have any mosquitoes coming in. A benefit to having a fish pond if you're a gardener is you've also got access now to free fertilizer water on demand. You've got the fish waste that's accumulated in the pond water, so whether you're doing a partial flush out and you're pumping out some of that water into the garden, or just simply dipping in a watering can, it's nice to always have access to that and your plants are going to love it as well. So at the very least, I hope you at least have a bird bath in your garden or a bird water, something that they can come in and take a little bath, get a drink. What I've noticed, and you don't have to have something fancy like this, uh, you can have something very simple for years. I had an old satellite dish that I turned into a bird bath. But what I've noticed is that when I keep the bath replenished with fresh water, the fruit on my trees see very little damage from the birds and there are a lot of birds in my garden my friends but my fruits not getting damaged so my theory is that a lot of that pecking that people get in their fruit is because the birds are thirsty they're looking for some water obviously fruits are high in water and they're getting it that way so consider putting a bird bath in your garden as a way to help to satiate the birds and with a bird bath you don't need any sort of a pump or anything to circulate the water because you're going to be refreshing this on a daily basis every other day. So hopefully you're getting out to your garden that often. And here's another reason for you to be getting out there. And another tip for you is to place it next to some sort of a plant that likes a lot of water because when you're flushing out that water, it's all gonna drop. It's gonna have some bird droppings in there. It's gonna help to fertilize. So just place it in an area where you've got a plant that needs some water. And also you can see I chose this shrub here, which is blocking out midday sun. So the bird bath's not getting too hot. It's a nice little shaded area for the birds to come in, especially throughout the summer months. That's really important. Hello ladies. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.